I'm scrolling on IG a lot, right? And Twitter more because I'm promoting and doing all that stuff. And all I'm seeing, I mean, I've known this, but it's just we we um we put up sex so high, like sex is is um advertised so highly now. I don't know if there's a uh, I I see like there's a problem with that because it's like, damn, we always see sex. Whether it's Instagram, tw- Twitter porn is out of this world. Nigga, you scroll, you just do one scroll like this, fucking, fucking here, titties, fucking, fucking, yeah. fucking, fucking. Nigga fucking on a car seat, and you thinking it's a car seat, but it's a fucking, he's fucking the girl just crazy back wait, and wait, forth. Wait, you thought it was a car seat? Nah, that's what a lot of people thought on the Twitter th- thread, that it was the car seat, but he's fucking, like, the girl on the car seat. And she pale or gray she and matched like almost the car seat but it yeah, was like colors are car seat where she just camouflaged like, to that but shit. it was just like it, you don't see her and you just see like the ass and you just bro see if this thing going crazy. if i ever see somebody with one of my boys fucking a girl who looks like a car seat we're gonna have to talk bro like this nigga is, obviously she didn't she look like a car seat to a fucking dermatologist she just check her skin bro so but, but i mean it's over funny because as, as much as you see it for me I still can't get enough. I still, it's not like I'm not going to watch it. No matter how much is out there and it's it's almost oversaturated, sex, it still always catches your eye. Because it's sex. But why, like, what about, like, we've had sex already, right? I mean, I'm not a virgin. You're not a virgin. No, no, no. You didn't even have to say that, bro. Um. <laughs> yeah, and it's what nothing keeps new. It's nothing new. It's like... I don't know. That's a good question. I I don't know. That's a really good question. What the hell happens in your body that makes you a switch goes off like woof? Because we're sexual beings, first of all. So I think seeing that turns us on. Nah, anybody. That's a, that's up to debate. I don't think Shoot. we're sexual beings. I think we we're intimate beings. I think we're we all have a capacity to love. But sex, <laughs> like not everyone has. Sound like you writing a blog, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Love, 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 love. We have the capacity to love, but we can't understand this. Nigga, what? Doom, 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 <laughs> doom, 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 doom. Continue, though. Not everyone has um <laughs> a high drive for sex. Okay. So, well, I say all that to say somebody could see sex and immediately their eyes are whoop, tuned to it, where someone else could see it and just look right past it. They but don't get excited as much as the other person. With intimacy, we ha- it leads to sex. So that's why it makes it that the reason why we're here was because our parents had sex. Even how weird that sounds, and I don't even want to picture that. You never, yeah. I've, I've the reason why this planet is here with why the human race is here is because we all everyone has had sex with someone else, and they created more and more and more of the human race. Mm-hmm. So that's why I say like we're drawn to it because that's why we we have functions in our body, the penis, the vagina, and that's that's basically what drives us as human beings. Yeah, I think attracts us too. What to also other attracts people. us is that how vulnerable you are at that moment. If you think about it, when you have clothes, you confront a little bit. If you have clothes you have your tims and the fucking north face whatever that's almost like a shield or something you know what i mean mm-hmm. that's almost like uh, a barrier between you and that person but when all clothes are off that's you at, at your vulnerable state most vulnerable state have you ever been that person that's taking his clothes off first and the girl still has her clothes on? <laughs> <laughs> um have i ever nah nah, nah, nah? It's, it's usually like same time like boom why? What about you? Nah, I feel like the same for me. That would be awkward as fuck. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? You know I what I hate know. though <laughs> is being un like being someone taking up my clothes. You still got that? You still have people do, you do find that, that shit sexy? For you? you still have people do that shit for you? Ah, no, 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 no. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you. No, no, no. I have to think about it now. <laughs> yeah, you do, nigga. Nah, I don't. That, bro. Nah, but to answer your question, that's right, nah, uh, it is sexy if it. it it depends how it's being done. It depends how it leads up to that. 
Bro, I hate <laughs> I I hate if a girl tries to take your boxes off for you. I feel like a whole baby at that point. Cause now you're like sitting in the fucking air and shit, <laughs> and you gotta take one off, and then she's still pulling off the other one, and you just at oh that yeah. moment, bro, I'm like, I'm, I'm literally a bitch right now, bro. I hate taking, <laughs> I hate taking off girls' jeans, or even uh, my girls' yeah. jeans, because that shit is nah, annoying. That shit, on the side, don't lie. Nah, shut up. <laughs> that shit gets caught up in one leg, and then you're over here like you're Tuck all hyped up, you're all in the moment, and then. Yeah, it's tug of war now. Now I gotta hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta yank that shit up with all your f- force, and it's like at that point, it's like, damn, you're doing a workout just to take this girl's jeans off. Yeah. Oh my god, that should be the worst, bro. But this oversaturation of sex, I don't know. I think it's like created young the younger generation beneath us. To feed for sex at such a young age. 